Good morning, guys. Good morning. And I am so glad that you are here from here with me. <laughs> I can't talk today. I'm so glad that you're here with me because it is what? It's Friday. It is Freestyle Friday. I want you to know that I am so excited and I am so happy that I am stumbling over my words more than usual because God is doing some great things between men and women of God. I want you to know, chosen ones, that there has been just a purified demonic attack on the relationships between the man and the woman, and it all started in the garden, believe it or not. And it has been the goal of the enemy to create friction, misunderstanding, anger, and resentment between the man and between the woman of God. But I want you to know that God is doing some great things in this time between the chosen men and women of God. I want you to know that God is setting a new trend in the environment and it has already began spiritually. God has began to not only awaken the minds of chosen men and women of God, but he has began to do reconstructive spiritual surgery on the inside of the heart and the mind and the soul of his chosen group of men and women. And because of this, we're able to co-create paradise right here in this environment. I want you to know, chosen ones, that you are the new face of what kingdom relationships, healthy, spiritual, normal kingdom relationships will represent in this environment. And because you have changed on a spiritual level, that means that you have also changed on a cellular level. I'm talking about all the way down to the atom of your cell. I'm talking about the part of you that separates the bone from marrow. That part that only God can see has been transformed spiritually into a spiritually high vibrating powerhouse that is divinely connected to God. Mm. Situations and circumstances have shifted. The mockery that the evil one has done for so many years between the two groups has been demolished because of you. I want you to understand, women, that men understand you as the weaker vessel. Not so much as weaker spiritually, because they understand that spiritually, when a woman is in God, it's nothing like you, but physically. And I want you to understand this, that God is sending a man into your environment that understands a woman because he has been through some stuff and God has taken his time to reconstruct this man's mind and heart and soul on a spiritual level. He has made him new. He has made him into the, the echo of Ephesians 5 and 28, where it states that in the same way, a husband will love his wife as his own body. He who loves his wife loves himself because the man has taken the opportunity to really get to the root of issues and problems that he has on the inside. God has healed him on the inside and he loves himself in a healthy way. And because the, the love that he has for God and himself, he has no choice but to love you like he loves himself. Long gone are the days, ladies, where God will allow you to experience the pain of a selfish man, a narcissistic man, a self-centered man, a player, a boy, in the flesh of a man. But now are the days that you will begin to experience true godly men that take their relationship with the Most High very serious. Serious man. 
is what you will experience going forward. And I want you to understand, ladies, because you have cleaned yourself up and you understand that you're so much more than braided hair, luxurious clothes, a face full of makeup, and a banging body. But it's the innermost part that is like Sarah, the part of you that's soft, that's nurturing, that's delicate, that is divinely feminine, that part of you. I want you to understand that the man understands now that according to Proverbs 18 and 22, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtain favor and approval from the Lord. He who finds a true and faithful woman of God finds divine favor and approval from the Lord. Because you have been approved to walk in the vein of a righteous woman of God, the man sees your spirit before he sees your flesh. I want you to get that in your mind. Hallelujah. That because you are walking in the divine purpose of your life, because you are divinely connected to the Lord and you are walking in your feminine energy, the man sees the God on the inside of you. He's attracted to that before it's your hips, your lips, your dips, and all of the curves that you got. It is the innermost part of you. The part of you that will never fade, ladies. That is the part that the man sees. It is a beautiful thing that God is doing. The superficial things that the world is seeking in a spiritual chosen community. It's the spiritual things that reign supreme. And because of that, you are going to experience something that you have never experienced before because each, the male and the female, see the God on the inside of one another. And until the next video, guys, peace, because I believe in your love. Bye now.